Welcome again, YouTubers. This is Shell Docs channel, and um, we are still looking at Toyota Vits. Now um, we have a, but well, this vehicle don't really have an issue. But I got a request some time ago to um, assist someone in fixing a transmission error code. Now the transmission error code, I don't quite remember exactly what that code is but the problem as outlined by the person is that um, whenever he resets the, the the system the transmission error and uh, after resetting this transmission error a few days after the problem resume and the issue is related to a valve on the transmission and the solenoid and the electrical connection to that solenoid now the issue is whether it is the valve system or the solenoid or the electrical connection wherever it is coming from from the computer to the the solenoid is or may be the problem now, based on the description that the person gave me, saying that after erasing the error code, it go away for about a few days, and then that error code will return or return, and it will remain there until he erased it again. And after a few days again, that error code will still return, and then he will have to go back to the procedure of erasing that error code. Now he got a mechanic to check it and the mechanic removed the, the valve and the solenoid as being the issue. So if the solenoid is good and the valve is operating according to how it should operate, it is only um, left with the we are only left with the the connection from the computer to the 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 valve itself which is the electrical wire or electrical connection now the person was saying that the suggestion is that the computer is giving problem now whenever a computer is giving problem and if you find an error code on the system you will not just find that particular error code you will find error codes surrounding that issue all the error code relating to that particular issue so if it is a transmission problem and you get a transmission error code if it, if it is a computer that is bad all the error codes relating to the transmission will come up so once you only can identify one particular error code it simply means that the the computer or the ecu is working properly and we are still left with the electrical connection now i'm just going to show you an example of what could go wrong with these electrical connection for example we have a connection here this is not a, a valve or a solenoid but it's just a connection here now in a similar way the connection to the valve or solenoid is something like this where you have a wire extending from somewhere and it then connects to a connector that is fastened to the solenoid now I'm saying this is not a solenoid but I'm just using it as an example now when the vehicle is driving or when the engine is turned on this wire extended from here down to this point will start to vibrate and when this wire start to vibrate because of the engine moving the entire length of the wire will vibrate but the point of connection to this connector here at this point right here the vibration will basically stop on this wire so the wire will vibrate from way down here come up to this point but because this is on a fixed point here the vibration will concentrate mainly at where the wire comes into the connector now if this when this is so you will find out that the wire inside the 
the plastic coating here will disconnect over time and because of this disconnection you may face the challenge or the problem of a broken connection inside this section right here and this broken connection will now give you a faulty code sent to the computer to tell you that something is wrong with not this connection but with the actuator or the solenoid or the circuitry going into the vehicle from this point but the, 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 but the computer cannot read to tell you that the fault is actually right here so because of the vibration all the vibration will be concentrated at this connected point to the connector and because the connector is firmly fixed to the engine at this point you will have the vibration being concentrated here and then you have this concentration of vibration causing the wire to break at this point now the wire breaking inside the shield here you are not able to see that so how do you identify that there is a break right here now you can identify it by using a multimeter to test the wire connection from the inside and then find out where it leads down to the bottom there where you have another connection or you could simply just barely strip one section of the wire here and then use a multimeter to touch this part that you strip and the inside part of each of them that you that is there so you strip each of them and then you use a multimeter to check to see if you have proper connection between these points because really you cannot know that there is a disconnection right here because of this plastic coating and when it comes to troubleshooting we have a lot of these issues that can develop because looking at this point again on this oxygen sensor you see where the, the, the oxygen sensor is fixed up to this point and then you have a wire connection that is extended from here and you notice that the manufacturer set up this piece of wire here to hold the electrical wire so that there is very small amount of vibration throughout this wire to avoid a break in the connection down here and you notice that they fix this to the engine also and then it is sent to this part that is also fixed to the engine that is here so manufacturer try their best to to fix the electrical system so that we have very small amount of vibration on these electrical connections and these to, to reduce the amount of disconnection due to the stress of the wire at that point or this point so as to avoid any fault being um, recorded and a difficulty of of, of identifying where these faults are as I have mentioned that you know a connection in at this exact point is going to be difficult to identify if you do not um, have the knowledge of um, stripping the wire and making using a multimeter to test if the connection here is good or is it bad and going back to the experience of the person because each time the person um, reset the, the system for the transmission in terms of the fault code, the, the, the code goes away and then a little after, a day or two, the code will return. And what that suggests is that the connection is not, it is disconnected here, but it is only disconnected when you have some amount of vibration to the point. And at the point where it disconnects, the, um, the, the, the fault code will be triggered in the computer to tell you that there's a fault with the, with the system, with the valve, with the solenoid. And that fault will be reported and recorded. And it will not go away even when the connection is, is, is returned. In that, you know, the wire will some point in time reconnect automatically without you doing anything 
but after a while it you know there's a disconnection because of engine you know the vibration of the engine and the movement of the vehicle and if you notice here this is connected to the engine this part is connected to the frame of the vehicle so the engine is going to move in some way but the frame of the vehicle will remain so you will have this form of vibration and this this wire that can easily cause the the wire to break at these points so you can um check it out and you can you know sometimes if if the code goes away or you erase that code you can add some stress to the wire in that you hold the wire and kind of pull it back a little while the engine is working and what that will do if you can um, pull each of them back individually because the wire is connected here so if, if it is disconnected somewhat inside of it and you kind of brace it back what you're trying to do in this direction what you're trying to do is to find out if there's actually a disconnection at this point and that disconnection here will trigger back the the code in the in the dashboard and if you notice that cord re-triggered you can identify be this these connection or any one of them to be the fault in the system and this is a way in which you can do it instead of using a multimeter and um it's a quick and easy way um it's not a hundred percent accurate but you just want to have some form of disconnection if the fault is actually here you're just checking to see if the fault lies with the the, the the point of connection of the wire to the connector here and you can do this at other points for example on the back right here you can do the, 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 the same thing just tug on the wire while the engine is running hopefully the engine is not hot and you may may get a burn but you know you have to be safe when you're doing these things so tug on the wire while the light in the in the dashboard is off and after tagging on the wire somewhat you go and check the light and if the light returns you can identify you know that the fault lies somewhere here and um you know it's difficult carrying out um corrective work to electrical system or um you, you know repairs to electrical system especially if you have a lot of wires to deal with but um, in a case like this you really have to have some knowledge of um, electrical diagnosis in order to, 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 to figure out how to, to identify the fault with the electrical wiring. As I said before, once the code go and come at a certain point, um, it more than likely suggests that we have a, a bad electrical connection so you can also check check the the connection of that particular point where you find that you have the issue um, along the line straight to where you would you know have a connector here and if you search the wire go down to the end and you have another connector down there until it reaches to where the computer is or where it is connected to the computer because it's not an easy task tracing electrical wires especially when it, it, it goes into harnesses and so on so it's kind of a difficult task and in most cases you have to use like a multimeter to do the checks on the wiring to see where that wire exactly goes um, I have a multimeter but I'm not going to go through that procedure um, there's a lot of multimeter the way how we read multimeters or use them online um, you know any try, trying to find a, a broken connection with a multimeter is, is not very difficult and you can search for one online and then use the same procedure to search for the broken connection if you want to go that route as I've said before you can always tag on the wire while the system is on and the light is out and if you notice that the light comes back on after tagging on the wire you know that the fault remains somewhere there so again um, hopefully this video is of help and uh, um, you can use it to solve um, simple electrical problems in your vehicle and um, please don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel 
Um, this is a channel that I specifically designed for this particular type of vehicle. And if you have one of these vehicles, you know, you can check out this channel to see how much you can get some assistance on your, on your vehicle when you're having problems. Thank you for watching. Again, please subscribe and have yourself a nice time.